Hello everyone, welcome to our invest2sets.com YouTube channel. In this very first introduction video, we will take the opportunity here to take you through what is this YouTube channel all about. Uh, we will introduce a bit about ourselves and our first product, technical analysis tool. Um, unlike other introduction videos, we have plenty of time here. I think we don't want to rush in finishing this video in a, in a few minutes. Uh, in this introduction video, we're trying to deliver all important information to our user. Uh, we will even present a few demos in this video. If you really want to know what uh, benefits our application will bring to you, uh, stay with us till the end. Okay, let's get started from here. Uh, this YouTube channel is our video tutorial repository for all of our software applications and services from invest to invest to set.com uh, from the YouTube banner that you can find our main website that is invest to set.com uh, if you have purchased of any of our product uh, please subscribe this channel as we will constantly upload new videos and tutorials to this channel uh, so this channel is the platform that you will find all useful video tutorials for how to use our application uh, you can always find your uh, answers right here uh, if you have questions how to use our application so go into this channel and select the correct playlist and then you can find out the uh, corresponding video tutorials okay so let's move to our first slide and talk about about uh, ourselves okay so who are we um, the invest2set.com is a software company established on 2020 and registered in Melbourne, uh, Australia. So what are we doing now is what we're doing is we are developing useful software tools for our user to help with their trading strategy analysis in the equity markets. So the technical analysis tool, um, as you can see, all of the um, you will find all the you know uh, video tutorials about this application uh, so it's our first product okay so we have been working on this product for years uh, and now i think it's time to let it meet with the market um so stay with us and subscribe your uh with this uh, youtube channel so you'll be informed with uh the new services and products and new new uh, video tutorials and even some new products released in the future so we are all put it in this channel and um, so here is some information about my, our main page company main page so also the one you are watching right now is our youtube channel okay let's moving on the next slide and talk about what is the technical analysis tool so the technical analysis tool is a software designed for uh, for a couple of the use for a different group of users so we are listed a couple of the potential user who will be um, interested in this application so the first one is the swing traders um, this this application is not designed for intraday traders um, so the, the difference between the swing swing traders and the intraday traders is the intraday traders they are not leave their position uh overnight so usually they will already always close their uh, trading positions before the market's closed because they don't want to risk any um uh risk any um take any risk overnight because the market is changing 24 hours as you know some news coming in and you probably have some bad impact on your position another day so intraday traders trade intraday um, uh, data all right and they always close their position before market close instead but the swing traders are our main target user so swing traders usually takes the place at order um, and they will hold so they're not going to trade intradays they will at least hold it for some time a couple of weeks months uh, even year so they want to ride the entire market trend so um, you can treat them as a uh, middle-term or long-term traders so b 
because our application only support the minimum the um, daily daily data so you know obviously we don't have intraday 50 minutes or five minutes etc that those data coming in so uh, the swing traders will more likely to be our user okay so um, if you understand techno tech te technical analysis of obviously this software is designed for you but if you are a new learner uh, you really want to learn technical analysis you need a very uh, handy software uh, platform to help you learn technical analysis and practice your skills and this application is also designed for you um, so in the next slides I'm going to show you guys some of the uh, use cases um, you might find one some of them use cases is very suitable for you um, but the next one is this design this software is designed for the seasoned technical analysis guru um, basically you don't need to be the guru so basically you have if you have some you know basic understand of technical analysis you have those knowledge the back end uh, the backup knowledge so you will be you will found this ap applications particularly are useful for you because you'll be able to use your knowledge to create useful indicator filters and trend filters and use those combination to scan in the market and you will find those information that's not easily to be seen by the ordinary traders by using our application you will be position yourself much better than others um, so that's why this techno this software is designed for that purpose uh, also, if you are active traders, so you want to monitor your market in a daily base or weekly base, uh, this is this application is also very useful. So, by creating some um, useful market screening and market market scan, um, so you will have a big picture of the entire market, uh, whichever you focused on. So, and that so you can make better t better decisions, you know, because you have more information. Um, finally, if you are not 100% uh, rely on techni technical analysis and you, the, your group of the traders that you want to combine your fundamental analysis together with, uh, with the technical analysis, you just want to you know, generate the better timing um, entry, entry points, you, you want to time in the market, right? So you really uh, need a tool to help you to, to achieve that. So this application is also designed for that purpose, so you will be I think you can find some useful case, uh, useful um, use cases for you for this purpose as well. Um, you know, if I'm just like talking uh, like that, so I mean, it's not very. Uh, so you guys don't have a, a, a detailed impression of what this application can do. So let's moving on to the next slide. So let's me show you guys some of the use cases. Okay, so in this slide, we are summarized some of the mm, use, use cases right here. Uh, let's go through from the top and in the between. So I think I can just pause and show you guys some of the um, quick demo. Uh, you, you guys can see the application in, in the action. So uh, you have a very direct impression what this application is designed for. Okay, so first one is a technical analysis tool is a software application to help traders and analysts to conduct technical analysis based on the end of the day data all right uh, nothing much to say about that one so let's moving on to the second one because that purpose the first one is just basically summarize what this application is designed for the second one is to some um quite some time if you are active trader you you will normally can uh, get the end of the day data from your broker or your uh, trading platform or from uh, any other internet sources so what i mean is you get all this in end of the data in a standard format that is a csv files so when you get those files on your local pc you don't know what to do about it right so basically those information are contained in each file like that so even though you have like years data in this folder for example in this example um, you can it's hard it's been hard for you to find out the information just from those files right so application our application can allow you to load those CSV files into the application and it generates a nice chart for you 
So what I'm doing here is we can import uh, those CSV files and um, you can you can we can import it from that folder right and uh, you can generate a chart so if I if I just import it again I already imported it only takes um, a few seconds you load uh, our application so let's fresh and you can double click the ending ticker of symbol name here as you can see your CSV file converted to a nice chart right so this is the first in use cases and then so of course if you have this one imported uh, we are provided the um, lots of indicators uh, the popular indicators in our release the first release so we only support those very popular common use indicators uh, we also have our um, in-house indicators that's only supported by us you couldn't find it in anywhere else in the market so it's like a uh, so let me show you guys some of the um, uh, ordinary so like very standard indicators like Bollinger Bands moving average uh, so you also can you can use all of them right so you can use those things you can using RSI uh, stochastic oscillator on balance volume so I think you guys are all familiar with this terms of indicators so as you can see uh, with those facilities provided by the application you can start to analyze uh, apply your technical analysis on this chart so you can even have draw train lines or the drawing utilities here horizontal line vertical line and you can you can apply uh, the uh, price retracement or extensions all this kind of information so yes so that's, that's the first case uh, allows you to use technical analysis too but and it generates the chart based on your end of the day data so I think that's uh, very useful for the uh, analyst the second one is okay let's end up this one here um, all the second in use cases that we think is kind of quite useful is for those new comp new learners right and you don't have any source of end of the day data or you want to analyze and uh, analyze some of the foreign country and foreign uh, mark country and, and areas market so you want to get those data in your application and our application provides a download facility for example I'm originated in Australia but I really want to analyze the 2021st the Dow Jones uh, share market so we have a download facility you can create a download schedule just specify the uh, country for example I'm going to download uh, US data so I'm saying US stocks what I'm looking at is the Dow Jones um, I've downloaded from the first day of 2021 to today and I'm going to put all those data in this folder B drive test Dow Jones demo let's see uh, what do we got for now here so as you can see I already so I already have those data if I delete them all so that's the folder is empty now so we can um, we can by specify a little bit things here um, of course stock country uh, equity type market code you know star and date and the way you're gonna put them um, as long as it has your internet connected and you can start to a fresh download so as you can see this download facility allows you to download stuff into that folder so as you can see when the download process going on those data is fetched from the internet uh, we're writing to the CSV files in that specific folder for you uh, when this finish we'll keep on our demo and our um, introduction video okay let's pause the house and we'll come back very quickly when this finished okay it took three minutes 27 seconds to download the entire Don Jones one year starter um, so there's a couple of things on the side it's not only you can download it from the uh, US so you can download anything here if it has uh, for Korean 
and uh, if you wet none okay sorry wet none doesn't have data as long as you have the um, as long as the uh, developed country you have it you have a I you have a established a ex uh, exchange stock exchange so those country so you can download the data from those um, not every country right here but uh, for the most of them you will be able to download download the uh, stocks for that country um, so that's quite convenient right so it, it gives you the chance to expose to the, in the global market okay let's um, let's let's do a import from that folder we just downloaded so that is the United States and you have to select stocks because we download stocks and Dow Jones what you're gonna put it here is the Dow Jones intro demo so let's import from the folder um, as you can see we can load it successfully and uh, once you load it you can refresh open the first one that was Apple's share it is displaying in default weekly chart so as you can see this is from the first of 2021 to up to today this one year data for Apple so um, that's their daily chart right okay so this is the trend spectrum so right now is the, uh, consolidation status as you can see you can download you can display it here you can analyze here so that's what we provided for our user to use all right let's go into the next use cases we have listed here um, if you learn if you want to learn your so sometimes you really need a um, a facility that helps you practice your technical analysis tools if you get those data from the internet that's fine so we also provide a facility in our application to let our users learn and practice their technical analysis skills uh, how we are doing that so we are provided a charting a chat game so that you can do some uh, trade by creating some simulated simulation account so I will demonstrate that purpose so before that let's prepare something um, let's pause the video for now okay I just load a Australia top 200 uh, share market sing, uh, data and I am going to demo is how do you use our chart game inside application to practice first of all we have created a couple of accounts here I'm going to use my technical analysis practice account one um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just setting up the time frame say please dis display the uh, chart from the first day of the stock to 2027 it's the 6th of 2027 I turn on my manual back testing mode and then I can practice it because I can trace starts from the 6th of uh, January 20, 2017 up to today 2022 so I have five years data for me to, to do the simulate simulate trading uh, if I select that one and turn on the back testing mode as you can see I can do a buy and short uh, I'm going to use a simulation simulate account which is a technical analysis practice account one so as you can see right now it have 20% uh, loss but doesn't matter just for this demo and once you prepare this you can start to do you can open any symbols in, uh, in this market and to practice your chart practice your uh, technical analysis you can do some trade right here so if you um, so that one is okay so that that was uh, col was uh, not a good one but this one is because that's a newly listed one after that to, to, uh, 2017 okay so uh, you open any one here as you can see those button are enabled and you can do a buy and uh, you can press button so as you can see um, you can sell so also why are you doing your um, why are you doing your practice you can use any indicator supported in the application for, for example you can you can check the MACD uh, also you can check your RSI so anything 
you want to lock in you you want to look at to support your trade so the, those indicators are available of course along with along the way you, uh, you practicing you can using the drawing tools here you can draw train line uh, you can do so many things so it's just like a um, it's just a fully loaded chart but you just right now you're in the practicing mode also you can display your Bollinger Bands you can keep on going so for example you also can short here right so once it's you can cover your shot and you buy again so based on your, your um, based on based on your analysis you can do buy and sell short and cover so until it reaches the present day which is 2022 at January okay so uh, how do you estimate your performance so once you finish the uh, practice you can turn on turn off this back testing mode you're going back to your trading account double click on this account so we are keeping the record of your trading uh, and each transaction you made so as you can see you you have a overall uh, performance chart here so it starts from zero because if you make money um, that line chart will go in on top of the zero line for example this account behaved much be better than the second one because uh, you are gaining uh, you are you are you're gaining the profit so basically you're looking at those statistics here we have a uh, initially give you this much money and you we are tracing your performance so everything is fine and that will be in green color everything is bad so that red color so you look at those uh, mm, profit and loss percentage you will immediately know you at the moment how much mm, profit you have made for example this account we made 21.15 percent um, in country this one you are lost then 19 percent so uh, how do you for the new learners basically if you want to a review your transaction for example you lost big in this transaction and you can always go in back to check these um, uh, transaction in the chart and, uh, so yeah uh, so the one that we did is CPU so you can you can you review transactions in the chart and you can go in back here um, as you can see because I configured the line chart in the very dark blue color so yes you you can review your chart if you if you're if you made a loss in this transaction you're always going back to that particular time and if we think about your strategy and why you made a loss right there okay so this is the uh, facility that's utility that allows you to uh, practice your technical analysis skills uh, you also can use this different account to um, to specify the uh, different strategy and you only use that strategy for the same time frame for the same stocks and you can p compare the performance and you know your strategy is better which one which strategy is better and more consistent so uh, you can use those uh, different purpose for for this um, utility okay so this is the another function we provide here hopefully you guys think it's going to be useful all right let's move on um that's the back testing part the second one is the technical analysis to is also set so software to let you to create an indicator or trend filters for market scanning so this is the most important function that we I think we think we provided in this application uh, technical analysis to is a software application that allowed you to do market scanning and screening so why we want to do that so you will know much more information than other investors and you put yourself at a better position right so how we can achieve uh, a profit when we're doing the trading that comes from the imbalanced information right so Im imbalanced information generates the winners and losers so our application can reduce those information gaps at least in the technical analysis perspective to bring our user more advantage so you know more than others you have more advantage so oh, very often if you want to know all stocks currently in a market that fulfills a set of technical analysis criteria uh, that you come up with uh, in, in which strong buying or selling signals appears so you want to put them in a watch list so if you 
you want to do this, basically you want to scan the entire market. It's quite a time-consuming task. Uh, you normally, uh, you want to find a team, you know, to examine every stocks and do it, apply the technical analysis, and it takes ages to finish, right? Sp especially you want to monitor your your um, market in a daily base. That's a mission impossible for the individual. So with our application, uh, we will let you to set up those criteria in our application. And with a only single click on your mouse, 10 seconds later, uh, we estimate that roughly, <laughs> you will get your report. Depends on how complicated your combination of filters uh, you created. Okay, so from here, we, have, we kind of show you guys some of the um, examples. Um, and you start, you can start to have um, have an impression that how this function, how this function is provided for you. For you. So first of all, for example, you want to ask, show me all stocks that are outperform the market, all right? And it is keep performing better. Well, it's just very fuzzy human uh, language questions, but in terms of the technical analysis, we can set up the filter to answer that question for you and give you all the stocks that fulfill this criteria. For now, I'm going to uh, create a uh, indicator filter and do the scanning. So let's um, jump into our indicate. Okay, so so first of all, let's start to load our uh, data in a full, uh, not in the memory safe mode, in the normal mode. Let's load entirely the data information into your application. So if you want to do a market scan, you, you cannot use the memory safe mode. You need to load in normal way. Okay, so that's everything's in there. Now we can start creating an indicator. Um, I'm going to create a new one. Say question one. Uh, in order to answer that question, you will need to create an indicator we call uh, Relative Strength Mansfield. So that one is to compare with the overall market. So basically in my data, I have my uh, top 200 Australian share market index data. So I'm going to compare every single stock with this index. Okay. So I'm scanning weekly chart. And to answer that question is I need to, I need this indicator is moving up sloping up since last 12 is true so that's the first one um, so you also want to, you also want all the stocks that at the moment is also outperform the market I'm um, adding another condition which is um, relative strength mass field as well but this value has to be bigger than zero I'm using float so with this condition together let's scan the market um, Let's create a question one. Market scan. I'm scanning this market. And what I'm going to use is use my question one uh, indicator. I uh, Sorry, the indicator filters are just created. And uh, if I scan the market, question one, I can get my results. So as you can see, it's already finished. You find 39 candidates. So this 39 stocks right here are fulfill, fulfill uh, meet your criteria, right? So take a look here. Um, all of those are uh, outperform the overall ASX 200 index. And also all of them are moving up. Okay, so the uh, chart preview can give you a line chart preview. You don't need to open the chart. You can just by looking at this preview, you know what this chart looks like, right? So that's very comfortable. The first one, if you want to see the details, you double click on it. Uh, you can see the actual, you can turn on the actual uh, chart to explain that. So you can see so you can bring up this um, relative strength math view indicator so as you can see right now it is above the zero line which means it's outperformed the uh, axjo index and also it's moving up if you don't want to see the 
area chart you can see the line chart as you can see this ticking up so this is our one of our candidates okay so this scanning which is we have done um, for that one is answered your question so okay let's move on to the next question for example you want to show me all stocks that have been consolidated for some time for example one year um, you can set up another group of indicator on our application to answer this question because this one is a little bit different uh, I will post our application I will show you uh, my indicators later and do a market scan okay <coughs> so if to answer the second question we can create a group of indicator filters in our application uh, you can specify the five weeks to 50 weeks moving average they are up or down within the three percent and also uh, this has to be last for past 30 weeks because this is very strict condition you might get nothing from the market scam so the last one is we um, so as you can see we can create a group of indicator conditions like that um, when we do the market scan we'll get our results hopefully so if you want to know more about how to create indicator filters you can always go into our indicator filter playlist and we have a very detailed video tutorials to teach you how to create indicator filters for each one of this indicator okay once we prepare this condition we're going to create a market scan so in the market scan I have um, let me just delete that one because it's quite str quite strict condition so you might get nothing so let's let's scan to the 5th of um, November 2021 uh, see and now we can start to running a rep market scan up to that date with those conditions so as you can see the market scan start working trying to pick up some of the candidates so at the moment it's scanning like more than 3,000 Australia shares EFTs and options orders ex everything's in that uh, uh, market data we just loaded okay it got 114 results if you refresh as you can see uh, here is the results we found it to fulfill that criteria uh, with as you can see many of them looks like that that's expected because I want to see the uh, moving average stick together for some time um, not the many real shares because those I don't know what is that it's a noise probably the all options and orders put there but these ones are real stocks let's take a look the first one so if you just take a look the line chart so as you can see this is fulfills our criteria uh, they are so this consolidated together for more than one year for more than 30 weeks um yes yeah, so because i changed it the uh, 52 weeks to 30 weeks because 52 weeks you will get much less results than that one so but for the demonstration purpose so as you can see uh you do can get those consolidation periods for some time and then you pick up this one so i think that's the correct result so as you can see application our application uh be able to answer your second question Uh, let's take a look the second one because we do have another one called FSA it's another stock so this one the chart looks exactly uh, as what we want to find we want to find those uh, you know consolidated each other very tight for for 30 weeks so that's the good result okay so this this quick demo shows you we can answer uh, the application can answer question two the third one is please show me all stocks that appears RSI and the price bearish a uh, divergence so in order to do that you can also create a divergence trend filter from here so we already create one so you, you can say um, to give me so you can sp you can go into our trend filter um, management you can create a divergence scanner and put an RSI as an indicator you scan a weekly chart 
and you want to look at a bearish fixed divergence so if you're going to use this one to our question three so you scan that one so in the trend filter the RSI divergence bearish divergence if you're going to do our third uh, question three so once this finished I'll show you guys the results okay the market scan is finished uh, actually it's just uh, not less than a minute so we find 564 uh, in entire Australian market appears RSI and a price divergence divergence uh, bearish divergence okay let's take a look at the example here um, take a look at the ABP let's bring up the RSI um, so as you can see the price actually achieves higher high and uh, our RSI indicator instead create a lower high so that's the bearish divergence so again 88 let's find a, another one here ADA if you take a look at the RSI so here again another uh, bearish divergence so from the closing guys okay, so guys can see clearly so basically we are looking at the closing price so the closing price if you dis display the line chart in a lighter color and uh, as you can see the price create an equal high but RSI create a lower high so that's another bearish peaks divergence okay so as you can see our application can scan the market give you this kind of information um, you cannot use the RSI <coughs> indicator divergence for um, for the real trade S uh, you need to combine your analysis you know with the uh, uh, with the uh, with the um, market scan uh, results you, you do need some of the um, technical analysis together and you come up the uh, your um, decision for you need to review those uh, results as you can see that one's not very obvious but the uh, price creates uh, equal high and RSI actually slightly lower so it all also be included into market scan because our market scan is very sensitive if even though you have a little bit divergence will pick it up for you um, take a look at that one as well so that's another divergence right It's right here, so you create a higher high, slightly higher high, and then you create a lower high in RSI. Okay, so we also can answer your question three. Yeah. In in the question four, uh, the OBV indicator is is very important because um, some people used uh, unbalanced volume indicator to indicate some of the potential price movement because they think the volume moves before the price in this case if you want to find some bullish divergence to seeking any buying opportunity uh, you can scan your market by using the OBV and price bullish divergence see if we can see if we can answer question four so in order to answer question four we need to go into our filter train uh, filter fil trend filters at another um, divergence indicator so let's call it uh, divergence uh, you want to see the bullish divergence and with OBV on balance volume so you can create that one and select my divergence scanner and this time you select OBV you scan a weekly chart so you want to see the bullish 12 divergence so that sentiment is bullish okay we create a indic we, we can create a another market scan called question four and we scan this market and we use the filter we just created for the OPV bullish divergence and we can scan our market now 
I use Alice your question full. Okay, we'll come back later when this scan is finished. Okay, <coughs> the market scan finishes fine. So lots of um, results, but uh, let's take a look at these results. If you double click on that and uh, looking for the CBA, uh, that goes that one for now. This one has to, if you take a look at the line chart, so as you can see, the price created a lower low particularly in this one and if you're looking at the OBV um, in the same time so the OBV doesn't create a lower low the OBV creates a flat um, so so as you can see it experienced a little bit because from here as you can see the OBV for this movement it doesn't uh, it doesn't create a lower low but the price create a lower low so that's a bullish divergence as you can see the price did went up and um, a bit so um, this is the one example because uh, lots of in my data we include includes a lot of um, um, options orders here so it's uh, not of low noise let's just take a look at the second one because I haven't looked at this one so as you can see uh, the line chart of that one it creates uh, the price creates a lower low but OPV doesn't create a lower low so uh, that indicates a little bit uh, information for us so as you can see we answered question uh, four so especially this period of time as you can see we do have a bullish divergence for the price action price keep moving lower OBV actually is keep creating the higher low higher troughs but price creating the lower troughs so uh, that might indicate some of the information um, as you can see the answered question four so what is the next question show me all the stocks that are monthly uptrend weekly uptrend and daily charting uptrend okay so how how we can do that is you can in in our um, trend filters you can actually create the um, you can create a trend filter to, an to answer question for example that one is tells you give me all the trend uh, stocks that the monthly chart is up trend uh, you can add another one and it's saying weekly chart up trend so you need to select this time a price trend scanner because because the price the trend up down no trend is applied for the closing price so you select the price trend scanner and say closing price scanning weekly chart because you're saying weekly chart uptrend so you just basically sim you just simply put it is uptrend is true and you set up finish this one and then you can add another filter called a daily uptrend daily in uptrend and this time you select price trend scanner closing price and you're saying I'm scanning daily chart and is uptrend is true so once you specify those three trend filters you can create a, another market scan called question 5 you scan the same market and this time in here you go into trend filters node and you select the daily in uptrend weekly is uptrend monthly is uptrend so that's exactly what the criteria is we are up for so going to question five you can run this scan so as you can see we specify daily weekly monthly they should all be uptrend in theory there's uh, we should get some of the a group of chart and showing a list for uh, recent months is ticking up there are quite a few candidates here but uh, when we apply the multiple conditions we should have much less results right we have quite a bit of stuff here okay 
maybe recently the markets behaved very <laughs> strongly um, the ACB if you are looking at the trend filters for example we are showing you the uh, weekly uptrend monthly is uptrend but I'm going to show you daily because daily I have some issues uh, because we load in too many data the daily chart might uh, have some issues but it's uptrend click daily okay the daily is uptrend as well so daily chart is uptrend because in green color the uptrend means if you're using our in-house indicator trends factor so if the background is green color means that stock is uptrend in this scope which is a daily chart if you see the weekly and also it's green color means weekly is uptrend monthly you tick the months monthly chart as you can see the monthly chart background is green color as well so that fulfills our criteria because we are intended to find a very strong movement for uh, the stock so we require monthly weekly daily scope charts all in uptrend so that's obviously is true so we can answer this type of questions as well so from the preview as you can see if it is a stock it moves up nicely uh, even though you have corrections here as this one shows it's uh, it's been in a bear bucket but at recently for ADN for this one if I apply that trend spectrum as well as you can see it starts to show in your green color so that's in weekly chart appears uptrend in the monthly it starts you know just you see the very slim green color so that means this month even though it's just few days it starts it becomes uptrend and um, if you the daily the daily chart at the moment is uptrend okay so we answered question five so there are plenty of uh, examples so we're gonna put it in uh, first of all you got you guys can take a look in the trend filter playlist indicator filter playlist and there is a comprehensive market scan playlist we can put we also will keep uploading some good examples how you set up the indicator uh, and the trend trend filters in that playlist as well so I'm not going to show you more um, the idea is show you how you can use this application to uh, fetch the very valuable information from the past five scan I just created uh, you guys probably will already have an idea how you're going to use this application so at the end technical analysis tool is growing and keep adding more powerful features in the coming releases we already have lots of fantastic ideas and we're going to implement them um, so in our release one this is what you can get and um, uh, obviously if you purchase it in our release one so you don't need to pay for the up uh, for the upcoming new releases so this is the one month payment so um, I, th I think if you if you not uh, if you purchase of a product uh, you won't be regretful because there is more features we keep adding in uh, be fully tested and again we, we will make sure it's going to be very useful for you guys um, okay let's moving on to your next slide we have a few minutes here to uh, we also explain the slides on who's gonna who is going to be our potential uh, u uh, users so I'm not gonna repeat again so the last the slide here is technical analysis and not a tool for obviously it cannot use it to observe and monitor market real-time movement because we do not support real-time data and uh, not for the intraday users so you cannot place orders so what's the best thing time you use it basically for the swing traders uh, for example you can you know use it when the market is closed you grab their uh, end, end of the day data and you load it up in your application and yeah, you can grab a tea or coffee and you start to do your analysis without any noise you can sit in in a room and you can focus on it or you can you can load it on you can you can do it the same in the weekends because on the weekends you have a full week's data so now your weekly chart is displayed fully so now you can you know um, again load it in the 
load all the end of the day data into our application and grab a tea or coffee you know do some analysis without any interruptions and you can focus on and you can make decision for the next coming weeks um, you know trade okay so the last one is what we really want to achieve um, so first of all we can achieve what we want to do is we try to help because our users might be in different levels of technical analysis knowledge right so we, we provide some of these very simple uh, indicators here like a trend field uh, trend spectrum that we can help our user to stay away from the losing trade for example if you're going to what I mean here I think I have never mentioned here so So basically, you know, uh, we can we provided some very very simple indicators like a trend spectrum. Uh, basically, it tells you do not trade, do not do, do not buy long in when the trend is in w especially the weekly and the long term scale charts in in the red color, which is in the bear bucket, in a, in a downtrend. You don't buy long in a downtrend, and you don't do short in the green green color, which is uptrend. So you can simply looking at the color, you knows what exactly. Uh, this underlying security is in uptrend or uh, downtrend or there is sideways so if you see many colors intertwined each other that means you will know uh, it's a it's a sideway movement especially in the in the uh, in the blue color so that means no trend the trend is unclear for our application for our algorithm so we don't know what is happening but it's a green color and you know it's a uptrend so as you can see we're trying to provide some very in, in easy indicator and easy to preserve the trend for our user to stay away from the losing trade to not buy in a red color that means uh, in, the, in, in the downtrend and do not short in the green color that means the underlying security might be in a uptrend um, okay so also we can help our user to achieve more profit in their trade that's what we really want to do so it it depends on the technical analysis knowledge uh, our user is if if you have very good knowledge you can use our tool to design a good filter uh, to scan in the market to observe more opportunity than others so we really want our user to use our application to create to achieve the more profit in their trade we do not want to see our, our user to you know frequently in the losing trade um, but before you can use our application effectively so we strongly recommend you to learn technical analysis uh, knowledge from the ground from the, from the basics okay um, so in short if you use our application you can get more profit gain uh, you can get you can get less profit loss so and then that we will be very happy we really want to help you guys to get a better performance in your trade okay so be with us um want uh, we we really appreciate that you use our application to be one of your uh, uh trading analysis tool on your desktop um and use it to help your trade along the way so i really appreciate your time um thanks guys for watching this introduction so if you think our application is useful uh, please go to our website to download our application um, okay I'm using this opportunity to thank for you guys stay with us subscribe to this channel and there's more better functions are coming um, thank you very much bye